Some people will use the symbolism of the relationship of God to the universe, wherein God is a brilliant light, only somehow veiled, hiding underneath all these forms that you see as you look around you. So far, so good. But the truth is funnier than that. It is that you are looking right at the brilliant light now. Hello, America. Welcome to the Cold War. We have got a round three OTSL match against Doobie H. Who I don't believe I have played before. Nope. But is, uh, again, a very experienced player, so it's going to be a struggle. Let's see. We're just going to jump right into it. 441. I have Indy Reds. So we're going to do that. It doesn't really matter. Our headline. Yeah. I think it's going to be captured Nazis. Um, we can five year plan Marshall, I guess. Space NORAD, and then play five year plan last action round. That'll be good. I think we just round turn one coup with that. He's thinking a lot. Not sure what's going on. <sighs> but we shall see. We shall see. Oh, excuse me. I hope we're not having an issue with our player here. Can't imagine what would cause him to take this much time. He doesn't have a martial plan. I don't really know any other trickster stuff. This does complicate my AR1 coup. Containment. Oof, there. So I need to roll an 8 to clear out Italy or a 7 to clear out France. I don't have adjacency. Um, I'm going to go one West Germany to get access to France. And one here to threaten Pakistan, which I then coup if he plays into. And if he doesn't coup, I think I just coup Panama, maybe? If 
Okay, I can coup Egypt, that's fine. It's probably holding Nasser. Okay. I have to dare him to move into Thailand, I think. I'm concerned here. Okay, he can't move in until he coots. So he can't move in, he just can't. So I'm going to space NORAD. That's okay. Okay. I think I just event this. If I decall and he coos. And the question is, do I dare coup a decal if he calls my bluff? I have made a little bit of a muck of things here, I'm not gonna lie. I could always China card it. Fuck it. Let's do this. I'm actually not even totally against the decal coup. Yeah. Especially with the plus one bonus here. And I'm not above using the China card either. Okay. <laughs> oh lordy oh lord won't you buy me a mercedes benz i fucked up this hand and i can't make amends um anything special i don't have anything special I guess, I, I mean, I could have just cooed Iran, I guess, but it seems low. Okay, let's event this.
and I will use the China card. That's a commitment. If he moves into Thailand. In fact, I'm okay making a five-year plan coup because it's worth it's a four ball. China card coup is a six ball here. Let's see. Does he even know what he wants to do? Cooing. Real crap coo, if you ask me. So I am going to go ahead and do a coup here because it'll be four next time around. However, he could coo me back, take it down to two, freely move into Thailand. So I'm going to coo him here. <laughs> All right. All right. Failed every roll. And he had Europe scoring all along. Uh, I don't think I had any play there. The seeds of totalitarian regimes are nurtured by misery and war. They spread and grow in the evil soil of poverty and strife. They reach their full growth when the hope of a people for a better life has died. I think. Cambridge 5, if he has Asia. Oh, what a weird game. IP war, I think, is too soon. Middle East, obviously, don't have presence. Uh, AI war, I guess is fine, but kind of pointless. And does have some use. Cambridge 5 has a use for most Truman, the other bad guy. And then Olympic Games, which is just a better for a coup. This has a cool effect, which might work. Let's get purge. Yay. I feel like this game is going to go really poorly. Um, and of course, again, I don't have big ops. I only got one three op. Um, I think I get some brand on purge. Fuck. <laughs> Lordy. Um, okay, place influence. 
I'm so fucked here. I am so beyond fucked. This game's probably going to be over quickly, guys. I don't see... Like, I just can't do shit. I really can't do shit, except for Ku Thailand. I'll have to go back and look at turn one and just rearrange that entire hand and see if there's anything I could have done. I mean, I guess it all comes back to do I Ku Iran... AR1 or not. He had four in Italy, so I didn't really want to cue that either. I thought my play was reasonable, but the def the DEFCON being high kept me from actually using either of Destal or Vietnam Revolts to get into Thailand. And of course he's got nuclear test ban. He's gonna walk in. He's gonna say fuck it. I think this means I need to use the China card to take Pakistan. I don't see any way around it. And I think he is probably going to coo me out. Or he's going to take India, in which case I IP war him. NATO coup in Pakistan? No. <sighs> cool. Cool, cool. Let's just uh, go ahead and get Truman out of the way. I better have a great turn three hand, that's all I'm saying. Romanian coup. Ugh. And of course he cooed big. I'm cooing with one. It doesn't get me to... I don't need the mill ops. But I do need to drop DEFCON, I think. Ufta, Ufta. I unplayed myself in the Middle East. <sighs> okay. It's the only place he <laughs> is. He just gonna coo me out. Like, I almost think I hold D stall. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I'm dumping Middle East next turn no matter what. If it coos me out, it coos me out. Oh. And the Angola coup. Let's see him coup Nigeria. Uh, if you're looking for a lesson in not managing DEF CON, kids. Very good with that. And now we are at DEF CON 2. But it's actually round six. So let's go ahead and get our VPs. Failed yet again. I have failed every single roll. And of course, I mean, look at these ops. So my country's purpose is to help us move out. Of the I really should have used AI war just for the ops because I wanted the mill ops. To find a way by which the minds of men, the hopes of men, the There's souls some red of cards. men everywhere There's a can card move I can fade. toward peace and happiness. Um, I still like look at this shit man like these are all minus one op so I had event event one op two ops four op six seven ops he had four eight twelve fifteen seventeen ops I mean just like what the fuck but what can I do in Asia? He's got a three to two battleground lead. He's got a five to three country count lead. There's a good chance that he is defectoring. Does it get any better? I could try to take one of these, but I think it's a bad move because I just don't have the ops. So I'm just gonna I think I'll do this and hope he defectors it. Cross my fingers. Not had a single three out card.
I wonder what the game looks like from his side. Does, do I look like the dumbest player on earth? I Please tell me if I do. Because the early war is supposed to be pro-US, but he literally scored all three regions for Dom. If he ha has redrawn Middle East or Europe, it's literally GG. That's two into Egypt. Okay. Can work with this. Korean, uh, I mean, he could have redrawn IP war. I guess that's his only way for Milops here. Redrew CIA again. CIA has gone to the late war. I mean, okay, I've just got to try to play for DEFCON suicide. That is the plan. Wow. I could have done lost the game. What can I do? He put two in a Panama instead of winning the game. I think. Do you think maybe he had a, a second? Just played Cambridge five, so let's just event this. Get our mill ops. <laughs> Failed every single roll so far. Oh wait, I did hit a space race. Woe is not me. He has hit every single roll so far. And that was a blockade discard. He knows I have it though.
Oh. <coughs> I have to remember that he has uh, a big VP lead. So I don't play cards that give him... Uh, VPs, you know. Приветствовать недавно принятые в члены организации Объединенных Наций государства и передать им пожелания благополучия и процветания. Okay. Well, this is absolutely good game. Am I wrong? Southeast Asia is going for three. If I plan to Burma, he takes these two. That makes it worse. Lines for progress is two points. Europe is five points. So hold on. I am holding. Ten victory points. Plus Kennedy. Plus grain sales, plus nuclear subs. I mean, this is dog shit, guys. This is dog shit. I mean, I guess we headline South African, because whatever. Red Scare Purge yet again. Whatever. I, I apologize, guys. I'm giving up. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. This sucked. Bye.